Okay, you did it. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right up here soon. All right. So, look, check this out, man. I just came in my room, so I make this video because the hallway, too much noise, man. I'm in Vegas right now. And, uh, I just came back from the Devin Haney fight, man. And I want to get, before I go back on this strip, man, I want to get straight to the point. Make this a quick video because I got people waiting on me. Devin Haney can't fuck with Tank, man. He can't fuck with Tank. Look, man, I watched the fight, man. It was it was an action packed, you know, performance or whatever, you know. And I like and I see a lot of like flashes of the talent that Devin Haney has, but at the same time, something about his style, something about Devin Haney's style throws me off, man. It's like he got a style, but he ain't got a style. It's like he got a style, but it ain't his style. I don't know, bro. However way y'all want to put it, but y'all hit that like button real quick. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already, man. I just want to say that De Devin Haney can't fuck with Tank on no type of level, man. Like I see, I see, like I said, I see flashes of the talent, right? But <laughs> it's like he make a lot of mistakes, man. That. It's old tonight, man. Lenoris damn near exposed Devin Haney, man. He just did something to his little hype train. You know what I'm saying? And I've been making videos about this, so I'm not coming out of nowhere with this shit, man. I've been telling niggas that he would tank would knock the fuck out of Devin Haney. That's just what I feel, man. I just want to give my opinion without a nigga think I'm going to him personally. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, like you go in there first. I'm talking about Devin Haney, man. Devin Haney cannot fuck with Tank. He would get knocked out, bro. I'm not sure if he can even beat T.O., man. With the shots Devin Haney was taking, man. If he was getting hit by T.O., T.O. Fimo Lopez with that shit, man, he'll be out, bro. He'll be out, bro. I'm telling you, man. He'll be out. But that's our boy, though, man. So... I mean, it's no disrespect, but <laughs> the nigga, the nigga got a lot of flaws, man. And I'm gonna say something I've been saying. This ain't just something niggas say after every fight or whatever. The nigga need a trainer, man. I'm not sure how Bill Bill Diddy can be the fucking how Bill Diddy can be the fucking um the manager, the trainer, and the promoter. I just feel like Devin Haney needs to get a fucking trainer, man. Real shit, bro. The nigga need a trainer, man. He can't fuck with that. He can't fuck with Javante Davis, man. That chin kind of shaky, man. And he be trying to fight on the inside and do his little shit. He was landing some good shit, too. But he was getting caught, bro. And that shit looked bad, man. Like, he was going to get knocked out, man. <laughs> That nigga he can't he can't fuck with Tank, man. Stop that shit, man. Um, he a good fighter. He was an action packed fighter, or whatever, whatever, whatever. But I don't even, I don't even want to keep going, man. I said my piece and shit like that because I'm just because I was there, man. I, I ain't even planning on going. I was in Vegas and I just happened to look on the fucking internet and seen that Devin Haney was fighting in Las Vegas. I knew the fight was happening, but I didn't know it was. Like 15 minutes from me. So we called an Uber, went to the fight. Boom. Devin Haney looked like shit. It was not a good performance. He can't fuck with Tank. Tank can knock his ass out. He need a trainer. Bill Diddy need to uh, pass your fucking son. You want what's best for the nigga. Pass him a, two, a good trainer. It's like he, Roy Jones, and this nigga Mayweather, and this nigga somebody else, and probably another fighter. Hit that like button, man. I'm out, man. That's my instant reaction, man, to Devin Haney versus George Lenars.